Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, my name is Leo. I'm a current uh, final year computer engineering student at the University of Toronto. Um, I was the one of the Canada Eventing Maintainer. So today, we're going to talk about eventing in advance. <clears throat> So first, let's recall what is Knative Eventing. So Knative Eventing is a platform that allows you to quickly and uh, easily build your event-driven architecture uh, on Kubernetes and make your events flow easily and securely within your system. Um, <clears throat> So on the left, you can see that we have the events, and we have our message broker in the, at the, in the center. And on the right, we have the sync, which is our event receiver. <clears throat> so events will arrive at the broker, and the broker will take the responsibilities to transport the events to the correct destinations. So this is really high-level overview of Kinetic Eventing. Um, and there are other many other components, like triggers, which connects the uh, broker and the sync, and the channels which will broadcast all the events it's got re uh, received. So if you want to learn more, check out the Kinetic.dev, the website, to learn more. <clears throat> so. Uh, so today we're going to go over actually three advanced uh, eventing topics. The first three, uh, due to the time short, the shortage, the first one is going to uh, be security and the job sync and the advanced event filtering. <clears throat> So what is the security in Kennedy Eventing? So in Eventing, we have added the uh, OIDC support, which means you can uh, add authentication and authorizations to the, all the communications between the broker and your services. So to visualize it, uh, empowered by this Eventing component, you can configure who is allowed to send the event to who. So why we're making efforts and why this matters? Uh, we're aiming to make sure uh, the events can flow within your system easily and securely. So, yeah. Uh, next, introducing the uh, new resource called JobSync. So JobSync is a resource that you can use to create a long-running uh, asynchronous job in your background. So with the auto-scaling from the candidate serving, candidate service, service will be scaled down after a period of time if they didn't get any uh, requ new traffic got received. So it is designed to run like the stateless and short tasks. It's not designed for running like a really long background uh, jobs. So how can jobs think try to solve the problem? It will create a long-running and asynchronous job at the background uh, with every unique event it's got received. So here are some uh, use, uh, use cases. For example, if you wanted to uh, trigger like a database backup jobs, or uh, when you got some new data and you wanted to trigger the rerunning of your machine learning model, uh, job sync is your best choice. Next, let's talk about the, what is the uh, advanced event filtering. So uh, recall event filtering. So different events might have different types, and they need to be delivered to different destination based on those metadata and cloud events attributes. So with the help from the filter, you can easily filter the events based on the event type and allow the broker to deliver them to the correct destinations. So with the advanced filters, it provides like a more uh, complex and more advanced type of filters. So for example, you can filter out the events that have like com.github as a prefix in their type or in their other cloud events attributes. So this precise control provides like a fine-grained control over the event flow and give the developers more flexibilities and more control to uh, where should the event to go and where should the destination to be. So this advances uh, components like including the security features, new resource job sync, uh, and the advanced event filtering. So uh, it's actually represent a major step forward for Kinetic Eventing. So together, uh, they address the three pillars of the modern cloud native uh, uh, event architecture, the security, flexibilities, and transparency. Uh, yeah, so that's the whole talk, and thank you. And they can, uh, you can scan the QR code to stay connected with the community, and thank you.